More? More, more! <laughs> way to Gueta. Um, took a little bit of a detour. Um, just give me a second. A uh, spec. I'm going to be a fan of the Um All right, thank you. Fan of de we took a bit of a detour um, that did not work. Um, but uh, we are here in the bush though, so we'll probably miss about an hour hopefully we'll make it to camp by the time the gate closes um still have quite a way to go so hopefully this takes us back to the main road and then we'll be able to get there so we'll see very beautiful here though and we saw some elephant tracks and stuff so they are around but uh, today's mission was to get to camp as early as possible because it's quite a way so this wasted a bit of time unfortunately but we'll get there We eventually found the correct route and met up with everyone in Guetta. From there we spent most of the day on the road. We had to stop and mount for supplies and to sort out a radio issue that was partly responsible for the one car getting lost. Because of the car getting lost and the stop and mount taking longer than we would have liked, the day got extremely long. By the time we were heading out to Mokoto, we had no choice but to use an access road to get there. When we eventually arrived, it was already dark and it took us a while to find the camp. Luckily, the view the next morning did not disappoint. So that's camp. We got here late last night. Um, we are at Mahoto. This is it's quite a nice vibe. We um, had a long day yesterday. Uh, got up at like 3.30, left at 5.30, went through the pans, um, on our way out to Benguetta, is the town's name. Uh, one of the people got lost um, for about an hour, which is a bit of an issue. Um, took us a while to, to find them. Um, eventually found them, went to Mound, got there. Um, and then we restocked all supplies and then we dro drove through this side. Um, the road coming leading in here with us being late was uh, not great, but um, yeah, we made it. We made it in the dark, unfortunately, but the campsite's amazing. We had some elephants here this morning, walking through camp. Um, uh, we got had some wild dogs in camp last night, uh, which is obviously awesome because you don't see them that much. 
And yeah, the rest of the day, we're actually just going to chill. We've had a rough couple of days. Um, making some poiki later and chilling. Still quite early, I think it's like seven ish now, half past seven. So, um, another cup of coffee, breakfast, and doing nothing. Yes, Mano. Hello, Mano. We just sat around watching the animals pass by for the rest of the day. Late afternoon we went on a game drive to see what else we could find. We didn't venture too far as we were heading into the Maremi the next day and Mano was busy with the poiki back at camp. Crossing our first bridge, going in from the top into the Maremi River. So we are going into the Maremi now. This is the northern entrance. Um, we are heading down to Southgate, um, which we missed the other day because we were late. And um, yeah, excited. I think it's gonna be awesome. We weren't in the Maremi for long before we ran into a big issue. Anton, with his 90 series defender, slipped into a hippo hole with his front left wheel. The cruiser passed over easily, but the track on the defender was narrower and he slipped in. Luckily, we were well prepared and got out the recovery equipment right away. We hooked up the recovery strap to my wild dog bumper's recovery point and pulled him out with no issues. After a quick inspection, only the left rock slider seemed to be bent and we carried on again. We would discover some more issues later on in the trip.
Potato, potato. Quick bry, we made it to Third Bridge. Took way longer than we thought it would. It is now three o'clock. Heading back after a quick bry that we're gonna have just now. And there was something there. Not sure what that was. Anyway, so um, yeah, such an awesome vibe driving through the Muremi National Park. Um, it's uh, this is what it looks like here. Where are we going? We haven't eaten anything, so very hungry since this morning. I had like two rusks, and uh, and some Pringles. So yeah. But you can do it. After the braai, we drove back to camp. Again, we mistimed the route and got back to camp fairly late. This is something that happened a few times on the trip. The next morning, we packed up camp as we were off to our next destination, Thobolos. Our plan was to drive via Savuti to Linyanti and on to Thobolos, situated in the Chobi National Park. The drive that day again ended up being eventful, but that's for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 and thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more of our adventures. Cheers for now and see you next week.